Hi, I am Dr. Shirjeel and today I am presenting you three cases of mild, moderate and severe intensity of a rare genetic disease. The first case you are seeing is a 16 years old female with complaints of watering, sensitivity to light, recurrent red growths in the eye. Now the second patient is a 15 years old male who came with the same complaints and he was diagnosed with recurrent pterygia and multiple surgeries were done but no one was trying to look him beyond his eyes and glance at his face. The third, the youngest, had a severe disease, even his eyelid were cracked and he had multiple growths in the conjunctiva and conjunctivalization of cornea occurred. So I diagnosed all these with a rare genetic disease called xeroderma pigmentosum, dry pigmented skin in which the eyes are involved, the eyelids have a tendency to have malignancies like basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinomas and conjunctiva cornea is also involved. <coughs> It is an autosomal recessive disease. Uh, it equally affects um, both uh, sexes um, and defect is in a DNA repair mechanisms. It affects the areas of the body exposed to sunlight and ultraviolet rays. The ultraviolet rays are very damaging, causing skin cancers like basal cell carcinomas, squamous cell carcinomas, malignant melanomas. In eyes, the eyes get dry. The patients get multiple recurrent conjunctival squamous cell carcinomas. And management of such patients is preventive. You have to tell them, you have to stress that avoid the sun. Don't go outside your homes in a bright daylight. Even if you are going out, go after sunset. And if you have to go out during daytime, use hoods, full sleeves, sunblocks, sunshades, sunglasses all the time, sunblocks. Vitamin D and vitamin A creams. If conjunctival growth occurs, excision biopsy. You can use amniotic membranes to cover the defects. You can use 5 fluorouracil and mitomycin intraoperatively. Like in this patient, I have used other tumors, basal cell and squamous cells, can be treated as a routine. But avoid the aggression nature of the xeroderma pigmentosum. Counseling has got paramount importance. You have to tell the patient that you have to do prevention. You have to. You don't need to go into the sun because if you go outside into the sun, the disease will get severe and severe. Now, clearly tell the patient, uh, the other thing is uh, the variability of expression of the xeroderma pigmentosum. Some patients uh, get milder disease, uh, like the first patient, uh, some get moderate disease, uh, and some get very severe disease with extensive involvement. So, you have to explain all the things to the patients. Uh, and you can avoid the serious uh, complications uh, the tumors uh, that occurs uh, in this patient in these patients so that was uh, <coughs> uh, all about the xeroderma pigmentosum and we have shown you the three patients uh, with different uh, expression of the xeroderma pigmentosum